Hi, welcome back to the final chapter of uh, Blender introduction series. So far, we have been discussing the very basics of Blender like uh, interface, modeling, texturing, lighting, and uh, now that we have covered all the basics, let's make a complete 3D model, which is going to be a very cartoony looking aircraft, something like this. Okay, and we are going to model this one and uh, shade this model and maybe make a very little small loop of animation just to understand how the keyframes work in Blender. And uh, since it's going to be a very long chapter, I, I will be dividing this into two parts. So today we are going to just model this one and give it very basic shaders, which is going to look something like this. Okay. So without any further ado, let's uh, download all the references for the background, which are blueprints. And uh, I have roughly uh, sketched it out for you guys and it's not a perfect one, but uh, can be used for uh, this chapter. So link is in the description. Let's get started. All right, guys. So I'll just uh, get rid of these objects in a new file and uh, let's import our uh, background references for uh, the model. So from the add menu, shift A, add menu and uh, import image and reference. Okay. So for the front view, we'll import uh, this front angle and place this in center with Alt G. All right. And uh, we'll go to the side view and bring in another image reference, plain side, and place this in center. All right. And let's go to the top view and bring in one more image for the top view and reset the position to center. Okay. There is a bit of a mismatch, so I'll just make sure that uh, all the lines are uh, uh, aligned together. Something like this, sorry. Okay, now let's go to the object data uh, properties and uh, enable the alpha for all the three panels. Sorry, use alpha 0 0.3, 0 0.3 and uh, 0.3. All right, and we don't want to see these in perspective. So just disable the perspective for all three images so that we can only see them in orthographic view. All right, and uh, let's rename this as a reference images and enable the selectable filter from the outliner and disable the selectable so that we don't uh, misplace it or move it by mistake. All right. Okay, one more thing, I'll just uh, select all these and uh, move these right above the grid, something here, something over here, okay? So I'll make a new collection over here and name this one as plane. And uh, let's bring in one uh, circle from the add menu. From the pop-up over here, I'll align this to view and um, give this, uh, yeah, give this uh, 16 vertices and place it in the center. and. Uh, now let's just align this one and sorry i'll change this to bounding box and place it in the front view some, somewhere over here okay so i'll start uh, tracing this form for the main body okay so let's get uh, the form of the main body as close as possible so i'll place the front circle over here the first one somewhere over here all right Now let's go to the edit mode and extrude this in y direction and place it somewhere over here all right scale this up like i said uh, get the overall volume of the main body first we'll work on the details later okay one more extrusion and move it over here and get the last part I'll add one more loop cut over here with Control R. Scale this up like this. Move this down so that we have a, a little more roundness over here. All right. Now I can either add more loop cuts over here and here, or I can simply press Control B and bevel this one, something like this. All right. I'll disable the grid and axis so that we have clear view over here. One loop cut over here, scale it up, move this in y direction. 
so there is no uh, particular rule or anything that uh, how many segments you need uh, just uh, add enough so that you get the overall volume right and uh, keep the distribution um, equal like uh, all the mesh sh uh, the mesh should be clean and equally distributed and uh, don't add too many polygons keep it uh, simple as possible all right add one more extrusion and scale it down to close this part something like this okay now over here we can uh, shift this line in somewhere over here and add one more loop cut over here I'll extrude this in Y direction and scale this down for the front part and there is a little bit of roundness in this area so I can add one loop cut over here and scale this up so that when we apply subdivision this area will look round all right now we need a few polygons over here for to make holes for uh, these things and uh, so I'll add one loop cut over here and one over here. All right. Yeah, over here. Okay. Now I'll shade this one smooth. Okay, so overall form looks fine. I think we need some more roundness over here. So for that, uh, I can uh, just grab the center edge and scale it up a bit. Something like this. Maybe disable the proportionate editing and uh, we don't need it much. So let's see. Let's add a subdivision surface over here to see if there are any distortions in the mesh. It's a very simple form, uh, nothing uh, complicated going on here. So feel free to uh, explore and uh, try out uh, different things if you want. All right, let's disable the modifier and scale this up more. Now I'll make a duplicate of this just in case if I uh, mess up the form a bit, uh, just just for the backup. So so we need one one hole over here, one hole over here, and one over here. All right. Yeah. So uh, we need uh, instead of one loop over here, we need uh, two loops, one here and one here to make holes. Okay. Now for that, what I'll do is I'll uh, dis. Uh, dissolve this edge and uh, bring in two loop cuts okay like this and shift these up to match the roundness okay now i need to uh, distribute uh, these loops are better so what i can do is uh, use the slide edge uh, edge slide and uh, just move this over here move this one over here yeah it's like all right and make space over here something like this now uh, now what uh, this edge slide does is it's it's moving the uh, edges but it's not actually losing the roundness over here now if we simply move it we are going to distort the geometry but it's it's a uh, the edge slide is actually taking the average in these two and uh, moving it in the center all right let's just uh, shift this one over here all right now i'll select these four edges and scale this down like this So that we have uh, something which looks circular all right now there is an add-on which can actually uh, uh, make a perfect circle out of your vertices if you need and but it's a quite a simple task at this moment let's uh, stick to the basics
okay now even though there are six sided uh, these are six sides we have perfect polygons over here and here and everything is uh, in polygons and uh, now let's uh, select these faces and uh, extrude these along normals okay so that we have something like this extrude along normal and uh, yeah and delete these faces all right now let's apply subdivision so more or less uh, these are looking like a circular forms we can uh, adjust the proportions uh, yeah this one was a little stretched out so for these edges we want some uh, hard corners so we'll create some bevel over here disable subdivision create a bevel over here and add one one more loop for each of these okay now let's see okay so this looks fine i guess and uh, i'll select all these vertices and shift these in y direction to match the blueprint okay scale these up scale these up a bit let's see all right so this looks fine and uh, let's make uh, other parts and uh, come back to this uh, for detailing later uh, let's just uh, add one uh, cylinder over here and make it eight sides it's already eight over here and place it right in the center okay all right so let's isolate this one and uh, y is yeah so i delete these two faces and uh, let's select all the faces and press i to insert this okay like this and from the pop-up window over here i'll choose individual so that we have something like this okay now while these faces are selected i'll choose extrude along region and make a uh, make two extrusions inside like this okay two extrusions and I'll leave it for now so over here what uh, what we can do is select this these two boundaries at the top and bottom and uh, and let's create an extrude and scale it down okay yeah scale it down like this so instead of uh, i'll change the pivot to individual origins so that when we scale it down uh, it doesn't uh, scale from the center but from the individual boundaries we have selected now extrude again and scale these in a, a z direction s sorry change this to bounding box center again and uh, scale this in z direction let's apply subdivision surface and see what is happening so right now uh, we need more uh, loops on the top and in the center so that uh, this looks a much harder shape so i'll add few loop cuts over here scale these z direction let's select these two loops and uh, make a bevel like this okay we can add two more loops over here two more loops over here and uh, one over here one over here and let's see how does this look now now I can delete uh, these faces I don't need these uh, anymore select similar perimeter okay now these will select all these faces but it's also picking up these faces what I can do is uh, just deselect these with the middle mouse and delete faces alright 
shade smooth yeah this looks much better let's go to the edge mode and push this up push this down all right so this looks fine if you want you can use the solidify so that this inner part looks complete but uh, i'm gonna leave it as it is for now place it over here and scale this down just to fit in this part all right now from the active tool properties for the selection i'll click on the origins and move the origin over here okay now press shift d and rotate this over here shift d and rotate this over here for something like this all right now for the center part over here what we can do is uh, select this entire loop and let's just disable uh, subdivision modifier for now and create a bevel over here all right we can create one extrude along normals and give it two segments okay all right all right so this looks fine uh, what we can do now is uh, make this part first uh, first of all let's just uh, i'll go to the edit mode and uh, in the face mode i'll select all these faces in the center now since we don't have a uh, one loop over here in the center we can't select this one but uh, what we can do is uh, add one loop cut over here one over here all right so now that uh, now we can split the mesh in half in the face mode select these and delete faces all right now i'll add a mirror modifier over here so that uh, whatever detail we add over here will work here as well all right i'll shift the modifier to the top let's select these vertices in the center and shift them in x direction enable the clipping option over here sorry uh, in the mirror modifier enable clipping so that we can't overlap these areas okay and it will perfectly align all right so now that we have our mirror modifier set up let's uh, start making a room for these cuts over here go to the edit mode and uh, press Control r and make a loop cut over here all right now what we can do is uh, we can select these faces and uh, let's just make uh, these one straight or let's add one loop cut over here and scale them in y direction and make it zero for now let's leave it as it is we'll clean this uh, clean this up later select these edges these faces and uh, press i for inset and uh, make it something like this okay now select these two edges and use a uh, edge slide and move them up a bit you can scale these down as well now i'll select this entire loop and create a bevel over here something like this and now we can extrude this along sorry i'll reduce the bevel make it a very thin line and now extrude along normal make uh, two extrusions inside okay enable the subdivision so this looks fine and uh, now for this part what we can do is uh, add a loop cut over here add one over here and uh, select all these faces and create one inset here as well make this round Uh, 
something like this okay now let's uh, delete all these uh, select all these faces and uh, create one more inset and uh, extrude this uh, in Z direction and you can uh, scale this down something like this add a loop cut over here add loop cut over here and here okay now you can select all these uh, faces or you can simply press ctrl r and make a duplicate of this separate selection right now select all these faces and use extrude along normals like this so this looks fine uh, I'll enable the subdivision on this so we have the main body now what we can do is uh, we can start modeling these areas now alright so I'll select the main body and go to the edit mode and select these edges in the front or you can just bring in one another circle in the front view make a circle and uh, make it 18 sides and uh, yeah align it over here okay I'll rename this one plain main body and uh, hide this okay now this circle over here I'll align this to the front part and go to the edit mode create an extrusion in y direction scale this down press ctrl r to make a loop cut and make this round like this okay you can create a bevel just make sure we have a good round looking shape over here all right okay let's shade this smooth and uh, apply subdivision surface on this one and uh, now let's select everything create one extrusion and scale this down like this and uh, create one more extrusion and uh, move this inside like this okay extrusion scale it down extrusion move it inside extrusion scale it up again okay so that we have something like this select this part as well and create one extrusion scale it down two times okay yeah so I just cleaned it up a bit uh, there were two edges over here so uh, it was creating some uh, like uh, since these edges were too close they were creating some distortion over here so I removed that loop and uh, connected this one to the previous one all right what we can do is uh, I'll just make a new collection and disable this old, old one so that all the main parts are in the new collection okay so I'll make a 
we can bring one cylinder with maybe just the eight eight sides okay and uh, let's align it in the center over here and go to the edit mode and uh, push all the vertices with extrusion in y direction sorry yeah y direction and scale this down like this okay now add a loop cut over here with ctrl r so that we have something round extrude this one in y direction scale this down now what we can do is we can uh, grid fill this yeah and uh, we can push this one in y direction and apply subdivision surface okay like this shade smooth and for this part over here uh, what we can do is uh, we need three wings okay so we'll make one segment for this one for this one for three and three six sides so we'll create one uh, circle over here and uh, make it view aligned and uh, we can make it 12 sides okay and move this over here right in the center and scale it down like this right behind the this this part go to the edit mode and let's select uh, all the edges and uh, create extrusion in uh, y direction like this all right and now let's create one uh, loop cut in the center and give it some roundness okay now let's bevel these two edges to make room for uh, the cut we need to make uh, for uh, the wings now let's select these two faces these two faces and these two and create one uh, inset okay like this make sure uh, the individuals is uh, not selected otherwise it will pick these two as uh, two separate polygons now what we can do is extrude along uh, normal two times to make this uh, go inside okay all right now let's apply one subdivision on this one and shade this smooth so for these uh, wings what we can do is uh, let's uh, make a dupli duplicate of uh, these two polygons or let's just select uh, yeah let's uh, make a duplicate of this and separate selection all right go to the edit mode and uh, yeah, scale this down move this over here scale this down okay now i'll control click over here to make extrusion so and uh, select these two and move this down over here okay go to the vertex mode and push this out a bit over here and uh, now let's add uh, three loop cuts and one over here to make it a strong end okay Now let's uh, select all these uh, faces in the front and create one inset like this okay now I'll select this entire loop and create a bevel and push this along normals two times to create a nice crease okay for this we can do the same thing uh, let's go to the edit mode and uh, select these two faces and make it inset let's uh, insert this one more time and select select 
this loop move this along normals something like this all right add a edge loop over here now let's create a duplicate of this and uh, place it over here minus 120 degree and uh, one more place it over here minus 120 okay so this should be fine and uh, let's see what more uh, what more we need for over here uh, we can bring in one uh, circle mesh and uh, circle and give it 18 sides and place it somewhere over here okay you can uh, use a line command if you want x direction and uh, now let's move it into yeah something like this now let's create one uh, extrusion in y direction and scale this down like this okay now what we can do is we can use the same method what we did for this part over here select all the faces with three and uh, use insert command okay and make sure uh, the individual is enabled otherwise it won't uh, insert individual faces and now we can use uh, extrude along normals and make uh, two extrusions three actually and uh, yeah let's uh, select uh, this loop sorry let's select this loop and uh, make one extrusion in the y direction and select this loop extrude extrude it again scale it down extrude it again and scale, uh, push this inside something like this okay now let's add a few more loop cuts over here and here and here so that when we apply a subdivision modifier uh, it looks a stronger shape dissolve edge let's try again yeah something like this okay shade smooth all right so it's slowly uh, slowly shaping up and uh, we need a couple of mo uh, more objects over here and here but first let's just uh, make uh, this area for the wing okay uh, around the wings there is a small rim now for this what we can do is uh, we can create one circle over here rotate this in uh, y direction and uh, select half of the vertices and push these over here and here just have uh, enough vertices for uh, to make this area look round uh, don't add too much something like this and now what we can do is uh, select everything and extrude this like this okay and scale it down like this now let's align this to this part rotate this and uh, bring it closer to the object so that uh, now let's apply one uh, shrink wrap modifier and choose the main body part over here okay now select all the faces and align them with this shape over here and make it something like this okay let's add some offset to this 
instead of nearest uh, surface point use a uh, project uh, sorry use a uh, target normal project okay now this will make everything perfectly round all right now let's apply this shrink wrap shrink wrap modifier in the object mode and uh, let's create one extrusion sorry now let's create one uh, extrusion along normals okay create one more extrusion and apply one subdivision modifier okay now let's create our duplicate of this and uh, select only this internal edge and delete all other faces uh, all other edges okay and uh, let's extrude this in uh, x direction like this let's go to the top view sorry rotate this over here control click or extrude and rotate this over here now let's see if uh, the normals are working fine for uh, this object in the edit mode enable the normals yeah this looks fine so disable the normals again now let's select uh, this uh, center edge and scale this up in z direction and make it look slightly thicker and this as well okay create a bevel over here yeah and let's select this one and uh, extrude this and scale this in z direction like this we can extrude and uh, scale it up again in z direction sorry s and z and uh, one more extrusion and uh, move it inside like this let's select this loop and push this uh, in x direction inside the plane so that we don't we see it fully connected now let's apply one mirror modifier for this as well and a mirror object choose the main body same for this mirror modifier mirror object the main body now we have uh, the wings on the both sides all right so now uh, i'll just uh, isolate this and uh, I'll select this one and select the reference images and isolate both sorry make it selectable yeah so now what we need is uh, we need to make uh, this part over here now for that I can uh, now there are uh, one two three four five six sites uh, six extrusions in this one and uh, these look like uh, the extrusion of two polygons and uh, in ratio to extrusion of three polygons over here this is five plus five plus five and uh, total is going to be 30 vertices or something okay so i'll create a circle and make it 30 sides now let's uh, scale this down and place it in the center like this move this over here now let's select all the vertices and create an extrusion and scale it up. Create one more extrusion and scale it up. Move this inside. And then uh, we can create one more. Few like this. And uh, now let's select these group of two edges. All right so now that we have all the edges selected uh, create an extrusion and scale this up like this okay now select all these boundaries and uh, and this one and scale uh, push this inside with extrusion like this all right let's apply one subdivision and shade this smooth 
all right now let's uh, select this internal edge and make a duplicate of this and separate this one selection now let's select this and uh, push this inside and scale this up create an extrusion and scale it up and uh, you can add one loop cut over here make a bevel and uh, extrude along normals and create something like this okay shade smooth for this one now over here we can add a sorry we can add few loop cuts to make uh, these corners sharp Uh, for some reason uh, these two edges uh, there is a overlap uh, multiple faces over here so what we can do is let's see if the same issue is here as well so I delete half of this model and uh, faces and apply one mirror modifier and push this on top and yeah enable clipping that's all you can apply this one now let's see if uh, that issue is gone yeah so more or less i think our model is complete we need to add few more details let's enable the cavity and uh, save this file as a new version all right so I'll push these, uh, I'll select these uh, and push these out a bit uh, so that there is some gap over here and the body and then yeah complete few of these uh, areas all right and make an extrusion sorry Now let's create an extrusion and uh, move this in Y direction so that it looks like a, a connected piece. We can create one more extrusion and scale this up like this. Now similar to uh, this part over here, let's uh, create uh, this section with the help of a shrink wrap modifier. I'll create uh, two segments and uh, I'll use insert command and make it something like this okay let's add few loop cuts over here and here and uh, delete these faces now select this entire boundary and uh, extrude and scale it up now in the side view let's align this to our model Or what we can do is uh, we can enable the snapping option in the edge mode align target to uh, rotation to target and uh, change this to face yeah something like this okay now disable the modifier and uh, let's apply one uh, shrink wrap and choose the main body okay and change change this to target normal project something like this all right let's uh, change the offset a bit and now apply the shrink wrap modifier now let's select these faces and uh, extrude along normals push these inside and also for uh, select the outer part and extrude along normal two times like this shade smooth 
now what we can do is uh, we can create a few uh, boards over here and to the, do that I'll bring one torus object over here and now what we can do is select the main body of the plane and select this edge loop and create a duplicate of this now I'll separate this one by selection and uh, select this edge and uh, this new torus we have created and uh, apply one array modifier and one uh, curve modifier okay and uh, let's select this one and first we need to convert this to a uh, curve from mesh tech, uh, mesh okay now choose this curve in the curve modifier and uh, enable increase the number of counts in uh, array modifier now you can make it number 12 and increase the number of offsets so first uh, let's just uh, align these two curve we have created and now let's go to the edit mode and scale let's uh, scale this down okay let's bring in the yeah scale this down uh, I'm scaling the mesh and it's automatically scaling the spacing because uh, or what we can do is instead of a uh, relative we can choose constant offset okay like this yeah make it something like this okay shift this over here and scale this down and now we have a few bolts on the body body okay so this is a, another use of array modifier you can use it in uh, in combination with a curve and you can make uh, things like a uh, a railing and uh, like a uh, number of uh, pillars or like which are not in straight format and uh, need to move along the curves push these uh, down if you need to in the edit mode and uh, yeah let's just disable this modifier if you want you can delete the rest of the faces uh, the one which are not visible but for now I'll, I'll uh, leave it as it is for this over here i'll create one another torus object and enable the sna snapping in the face mod uh, align rotation to target and move this over here and this will automatically align and place it over here all right now let's uh, uh, make a duplicate of this again and one more time and place it over here all right something like this now what we can do is uh, we can uh, easily create uh, these kind of pipes with the curve objects. So far we have only made objects with the, uh, from the add menu with the mesh uh, section over here. But uh, a very basic use of curve, uh, there are plenty of more uses but uh, over here let's create one uh, Bezier curve. And uh, what we can do is let's uh, go to the curve properties object data properties and uh, make this one uh, geometry depth sorry yeah just enable this part the depth part and uh, scale this down okay uh, disable the snapping now what we can do is we can quickly place it over here push this here and push this over here all right if you need you can uh, select these two and uh, subdivide this to create one more point in the center or you can also use a uh, control click and uh, make extrusions uh, just like polygon objects okay I'll place it in the center over here I can do this with snapping I guess but it's not perfectly working over here so I'll manually make some adjustments and select these two subdivide so curve objects are very fun to play with for uh, to make uh, something like pipes and all there are plenty more options over here but uh, uh, we don't need to discuss this now 
but we can create a uh, loft objects and uh, create custom shapes for uh, these uh, like uh, right now it's only taking a like circular shape but we can uh, make a profile shape and assign this as a profile for uh, this curve okay now let's make a duplicate of this and uh, align this over here like this okay give it some random shape like uh, how usually pipes have a random shape all right now press l to select all the linked and uh, make a duplicate of this all right in the side view i'll uh, align this over here and uh, let's uh, delete these two vertices so that we can create new ones and control click control click rotate this one like this and control click control click over here something like this okay now we can copy this uh, torus from here enable the snapping and uh, from the face this should work like this all right all right so this looks fine and uh, if you want you can add few more pipes on the other side as well it's totally up to you and uh, you can also improvise on design if you like and create your own design now let's see uh, yeah let's create this shape over here now what I can do is uh, I can bring one simple plane 90 and uh, align it over here okay go to the edit mode and uh, in the vertex place it over here we can place this one over here and this one over here now since uh, this one is uh, slightly curved i can uh, create two segments and uh, push this edge over here and uh, this one give it some nice round shape okay I'll add a loop cut over here and uh, one loop cut over here okay make this line straight let's add one over here let's uh, select these and dissolve edges select this one and create one inset okay like this and uh, we can we need one loop cut over here to make the end look more straight over here and uh, let's disable the modifier and add more loops over here and over here okay something like this now let's select this part and uh, create one uh, extrude along normals and add more edge loops to make these corners look sharp like this all right now we can select this entire loop outside and uh, create one extrusion in the x direction like this and apply one mirror modifier yeah enable the clipping okay so this looks fine uh, i guess and uh, we can shade this uh, smooth if you want you can uh, make these edges sharper and uh, create one bevel over here like this okay select these vertices rotate these in uh, x direction 
make it something like this all right now i'll place this entire object somewhere over here in the middle or i can select the main body and align this yeah x direction all right all right now i need to connect this one to this uh, there is some connection in the reference like uh, this area so for that what we can do is uh, let's select this and uh, this entire loop and press shift d and separate this one by selection okay so that we you have this new curve okay now this one is uh, have a, this one have a mirror modifier let's uh, shift this to top and apply this one okay and uh, move this entire curve over here okay now we need to match this profile so what we can do is uh, apply a shrink wrap and uh, shrink wrap and choose the main body so that it uh, so that uh, it takes the shape of the body okay you can change the offset a bit 0 0.002 all right now select everything and uh, extrude this like this okay scale this up in y x direction and create a nice rim okay and now let's move the yeah now let's uh, move the shrink modifier on the top and uh, what we can do is we don't need uh, these two edges yeah dissolve edges instead what we can do is we can add one over here and one over here okay now let's apply shrink wrap modifier and uh, now in the edit mode select sorry in the edit mode select everything and extrude along normals like this all right now select uh, the subdivision modifier and enable this one so some problem with the extrude i think uh, what we can do is first uh, let's just uh, check if uh, all the normals are working correctly all right so normals are distorted because of shrink wrap modifier so i can select everything and uh, make normal recalculate normals okay and you can uh, flip these normals to point it outside okay yeah give it some nice round shape like this and uh, now let's extrude this one okay select everything i i want to give it some thickness so let's uh, use shrink flatten yeah make it slightly thicker like this now for this one i can select all these edges let's uh, disable the normals and uh, move these down okay and connect this to this area all right so more or less we are done uh, i think uh, i'll just make a few more corrections over here all right let's go to the look dev mod and uh, use the use some other hdri okay so this looks good and uh, we need to add a couple of more things uh, like uh, let's make uh, this part over here now this is going to be a pretty simple one i guess i'll uh, select uh, this rim, this rim we created and uh, select this entire edge make a duplicate of this all right and uh, separate this one in the edit mode by selection so that we have exact same profile let's go to the edit mode and uh, make an extrusion in z direction okay like this something like this and in the front view select this entire loop and scale this down like this okay and add one loop right over here and give it some roundness like this 
all right now i see some problem over here with the normals so let's select uh, let's see if there's a issue with vertices select everything and recalculate normals should fix this disable the normals and uh, grid fill this top part okay yeah shade smooth add one loop cut over here and now let's select this loop in the in the last one and invert the selection and now let's smooth vertices sorry i can choose uh, smooth from here yeah so i'll instead uh, choose the vertex selection uh, select this vertex loop invert and uh, let's try and smooth this yeah this works fine so in the edge mode actually it was picking up these edges as, as well so i changed this to vertex mode So right now we are working in EV and uh, let's just enable ambient occlusion and uh, let's increase the distance and uh, now let's uh, see if we can improve uh, anything over here okay. So I think more or less uh, uh, this model is done and uh, what we can do is uh, complete few more areas like this one we can create an extrusion and uh, scale this extrude and scale this again okay and maybe connect these two edges like this okay and select these loops and with the extrusion move them inside z direction like this okay so yeah and uh, we can also create one uh, partition over here create one uh, bevel sorry control b for bevel and uh, extrude this along normal two times to create one uh, hard line like this okay for these holes over here which we created earlier let's uh, isolate this area i think we can uh, add few more loops over here let's go to the edit mode yeah control r and add one loop over here let's disable the modifier for now yeah let's see okay let's add one loop cut over here one over here to make these uh, corners look more sharp let's uh, make the mesh more uh, consistent all right and something like this create one bevel over here let's bring back the model and uh, enable the modifier yeah so in uh, previous chapters we have worked with the cycle engine but uh, for now uh, we'll use the EV and uh, give these uh, some very basic shaders and see if we can improve the quality of it okay like uh, any improvisation if we can do so even though the model is complete i'm just looking around and seeing uh, if there's an opportunity to uh, make some better adjustments select this loop and give it a bevel something like this and select this one and select this entire yeah 
and uh, extrude along normal push these inside select this loop and extrude along normal all right i can uh, add few loop cuts over here to make these uh, sharp sharp ends all right and uh, i can select this edge loop and scale this up with the extrusion and create one more extrusion and uh, move this outside so that this gap is closed something like this okay I need to create this partition as well so for that what I can do is I'll just uh, select the background plane and this and isolate these and uh, let's go to the face mode and select these faces all these faces and uh, create one inset okay and disable the individual change the size of the inset and make something like this all right and uh, create one more inset like this and now we can select these faces and create one extrude along normals like this okay so this looks good and I'll just save it as a backup now uh, not everything uh, I've done is according to uh, the background references a few things are moving here and there apart and uh, and I'm sure if I spend some more time and uh, like uh, uh, I could have uh, matched it to the exact reference but uh, I don't think uh, uh, it's going to be too hard for you if you want to exactly make it like the background reference all right okay so I'll just uh, make a new window over here or a vertical split and change this to a shader editor all right now let's see if uh, how things look uh, with the colors okay select everything and press m m is for layers or move to selection and choose plane 2 okay now disable the reference images right now i'm just going to give it some very basic shaders let's uh, enable the rendered view for the ev and uh, change uh, this to scene world instead of uh, disable the scene world so that we can see the uh, these hdris in the viewport okay and uh, if you want you can increase the strength a bit now for this uh, main body i can bring in one uh, simple red color and make it metallic okay something like this now in the render properties uh, enable the screen space reflection so that you can see the reflections in the viewport and uh, if you want you can enable the bloom as well uh, and uh, in the spe screen space uh, reflection enable the reflections as well so that if there is any transparent material you will be able to see that as well okay now i'll select these two, uh, wings and select the main body press ctrl l and uh, transfer the material okay or we can uh, actually leave the metallic roughness 2.9 specular 0.3 okay and uh, we can use the same over here as well materials and maybe we can make a duplicate of material and change the color of this a bit something like this increase the saturation all the way maybe increase the value for this we can use uh, something 
completely metallic decrease the roughness select these two and uh, sorry select these two select this one ctrl l transfer the material and uh, you can choose the same material over here as well and over here as well all right for this uh, we can bring one uh, transmissive material and uh, for this uh, for transmission to work in the viewport uh, go to the materials and uh, over here screen space refraction enable this one and uh, no roughness over here and this should work all right for this area create something darker select this and apply the same material over here as well i think uh, there is some gap over here so i'll scale this down a bit and for this i can uh, use a solidify modifier so that uh, the glass have some thickness and uh, move this up let's put something over here inside so that we can see how the material is working the reflection now i can change the index of uh, reflection a bit yeah or maybe 0.9 something yeah and uh, let's apply same material over here as well for now and for these wires we can create something gray and right now i'm just giving them uh, very basic materials and uh, we can uh, tweak these later so i'm just using control l command and uh, transferring the materials uh, very basic ones all right guys so i think our model is done and uh, in the video you might have seen uh, one character over here uh, it was a very basic uh, uh, very basic cylindrical character and i'm sure by now you know how to make a very basic shape so i'm not, not going to get into all that and uh, so i had created this uh, very basic looking character uh, just for the presentation purpose and it's a very simple looking uh, like thumb like shape and very basic looking uh, stuff over here nothing complicated and uh, i'm sure if you have been following the tutorials uh, by now you should be able to make uh, something like this okay so i'll place it over here in the center and uh, right over here and let's go to the rendered view okay all right so this looks good um, uh, i'm sure if you are using it for production you might want to give it some more uh, careful thought but for beginners i think it's a really fun thing to begin with and uh, i'm sure we can uh, do one chapter uh, where we uh, make everything perfect from the topology point of view uh, like uh, how things work in the production but i don't want to load you guys with the like too many details at this moment and I want to keep things very light and fun but yeah if you're making your own uh, small short film or anything and uh, like uh, this model will work perfectly fine for it okay so and uh, now uh, even though we are working in EV everything else like us uh, uh, things such as uh, lighting and material works uh, pretty much like uh, how they work in the cycles uh, you don't need to give any uh, different kind of treatment to the material. These would work uh, exactly the same way with the cycles as well. 
it's just that the render the accuracy of render is uh, something which is uh, uh, different so but for uh, non photorealistic things uh, ev works uh, just fine and in fact it can work uh, uh, in some cases you can achieve photorealistic stuff so what we can do is uh, in next video we can uh, maybe add a few texture details and uh, uh, make uh, materials a bit more richer and maybe we can add a logo over here paint few scratches and uh, combine few materials and uh, make them look uh, much more uh, a little more detailed uh, better than uh, just a very basic stuff and then maybe we can uh, create some uh, very basic animation where uh, 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 these uh, uh, the propeller is uh, turning and uh, wheels uh, maybe things are moving and uh, like a very small motion okay and for now i'll uh, just uh, conclude this uh, day with something like this so and uh, i'm sure you know how to make a render uh, of the images by now right now we don't have any camera but uh, if you want to take some render just click somewhere over here or anywhere and uh, place a camera press ctrl alt 0 to align the camera now go over here and uh, click on the lock camera to view okay now we can uh, uh, select the camera uh, you can either select the camera from here or you can right click on this border and this will select the camera and uh, you can uh, change this focal length to 110 so that uh, there is a uh, not so much of pers perspective all right so now let's take a render out of this and uh, what we can do is uh, these hdris right now we are using the environment hdri uh, this won't work in the render so let's enable the scene world and uh, from here uh, in the environment click on use nodes yeah and uh, select a uh, background and from the texture environment texture and open one uh, hdr from the program files blender 2.82 data files studio lights sunset.exr and also you can uh, select the camera and uh, use depth of field okay now this would uh, ask focus on the focus on which object you can choose uh, this main uh, character or the glass around it and you can also adjust the uh, f-stop parameter if you want if you de increase decrease it, it it's going to be more blurry so be careful about this and uh, uh, these actually these parameters work uh, much more uh, accurate in uh, cycles render but um, for uh, this purpose i think uh, it's pretty cool pretty decent and uh, yeah i can increase the trace precision to one and also 0.5 all right so i'll leave it as it is and uh, so we have the camera set up and everything now let's press uh, f12 okay guys so here's our render and uh, since uh, ev is a real-time render it took me only five seconds to render this and uh, like you, you can say uh, you can see the quality is pretty good and uh, things look pretty decent with ev as well and um, you can use the uh, ev for uh, like very quick renders okay so for now i'm going to just conclude this day with uh, uh, this model and very basic uh, materials and uh, in next chapter maybe we can add few more details such as uh, scratches and uh, maybe few imperfection maps and add more detail to the glass uh, scratches such as just like how we did in, in the shading part and also uh, we'll create one uh, fun little animation and uh, and make uh, some uh, much nicer render than this one okay this is a very basic one i know that and uh, but I'm sure maybe we can make a, another video where we uh, create a very professional model uh, where topology and everything is uh, just perfect and uh, we talk about all the uh, details just uh, from the point of view of uh, topology okay and uh, how the the modeling works in the production environment uh, and uh, you can uh, if you're making something of your personal uh, like uh, your own short films and all so a basic modeling like this can work and i'm sure for beginners this is too much already and i don't want to overload you with information and technical details so we are going to actually so there will be plenty more uh, tutorials and uh, 
things we are going to discuss so let's not worry about this today and have fun with whatever you're creating i'm sure uh, uh, you will be able to perfect this as you move forward in this journey okay so some of you have uh, shared uh, the stuff which you have made uh, during this tutorial series so i really like the results uh, and i will be sharing uh, some of the post which uh, the followers have shared and what they have made so we will be doing a communi community showcase and uh, i'll share the post which i like the most but i'll encourage the rest of you as well to uh, not just binge watch all the tutorials and also follow these and make something and do share okay so do share your version of uh, uh, today's model and uh, i look forward to see you guys in the final chapter and let's uh, conclude this series and uh, make something uh, even more fun than this and uh, let's add some life to this one okay so see you guys in the next chapter thank you